quite delighted to get the opportunity to talk both about Instagram and the small business narrative on our platform. And thank you, Warif, and, and thank you, Samir, in particular, for thinking of us here. Last year, when we hosted our inaugural Grow Your Business Summit, which is our flagship event, which is dedicated to the growth agenda of small businesses, one inspiring story caught my attention, and that is what I want to start by sharing with you. It is the story of the Hange brothers, Satyajit and Ajinkya. They are two brothers from Intapur in Maharashtra. They left their corporate jobs to work on their father's farm. Their idea being to produce, to grow, and to sell the local organic produce, not just in local markets, but globally as well. As you can imagine, this dream was massive, really big. They were punching, many would argue, above their weight. And to try and scale a business out of a village in India, of course, comes with its own challenges. They described how they actually stood by the highway in their village, explaining anyone who cared to stop what organic was all about and what advantage it brought. But all that changed when they put out an ad on a meta platform, I think it was Facebook, talking about one of their star products, which is ghee, a cooking medium. And somebody in the US spotted it and said they wanted to purchase it. Today, they're advertising on Facebook and Instagram, and they are present in 48 countries and 700 towns and cities across the world. They're not alone. A meta-commissioned survey of small businesses by Ipsos actually shows that in India, more than a third of the SMBs or the small and medium businesses who were surveyed have said that Instagram has helped their business increase sales outside the country. Across our apps, we are also finding that Two Brother Organic Farms is not the only such enterprise, is not the only such business also coming from outside one of India's big urban centers. In fact, if you look at the 100 most followed businesses on Instagram, say anywhere between uh, uh, one to three million followers, you will find that 40% of them are actually coming from outside India's top metro cities. So that is where a lot of the growth is where we are seeing. The ability also of both Facebook and Instagram to connect businesses with their customers accurately across geographic boundaries is another superpower, especially for small businesses. And at Instagram, I think that we are uniquely positioned to help businesses do this. Let me explain why. Instagram is a platform where people come on to pursue their passions, to build their communities. We have a thriving creator community on the platform. And there are umpteen instances and more of how businesses and brands have leveraged creators to, to grow their brand, to expand their businesses, to find new markets, to find new users, to retain existing users, and I could go on and on. Instagram is also the place where culture unfolds. So say, think Diwali. Think that nail-biting India-Pakistan cricket match, right? This is where businesses are also uniquely positioned to reach users in a context that matters to them. And of course, talking about Instagram, uh, one cannot not touch upon Reels. Reels is the short format video, which is how India is really expressing itself. And there's just so much discovery happening on Reels. Ads on Reels is another very, very strong medium for businesses to reach out to their users. In fact, our annual study of festive shoppers by YouGov that we recently released actually shows that 83% of Diwali shoppers have consumed short, user-generated videos on meta technologies. And here's another example of how businesses are leveraging it. Lekhani Desai is a young entrepreneur from Mumbai. She's got a fashion label. It's called the Indian Ethnic Co. She uh, used reels. She actually made reels of both of her and her friends dancing in saris. Not only did that lead to millions of views for those reels, 
It also created a market and uh, regenerated demand for the saris that India Ethnic Co. was actually selling on its platform. And there are many such instances of those like Lakeney, and especially women entrepreneurs who are putting themselves out there on Instagram. And we're seeing a lot of diversity when it comes to founders as well. In fact, this is one of my favorite statistics, which is more than 60% of the Instagram businesses in India who self-identify as women-owned have begun in the last few years since the pandemic began. So that's been the, the growth and the momentum that we've seen in women-owned businesses on Instagram. Uh, when we talk about uh, all our work in empowering uh, women entrepreneurs, we've also got programs like She Means Business, which is again focused on the economic empowerment of women. We are present in 38 countries. We've got programs like Goal, which are again going online as leaders, where again, the whole idea of that program is to equip youth and women entrepreneurs from tribal communities to be able to use digital platforms and do that quite effectively. The Ipsos study that I mentioned also shows that 48% of surveyed small and medium businesses report that Instagram has helped their business increase access to new customers. And more than half of these small and medium businesses also said that Instagram has helped the business increase the number of potential customers who see their products and services. I'll talk a little briefly before I end on the growth that we are seeing on the platform of direct to consumer models as well. And I'll illustrate this with the example of Shubhika Jain. Shubhika runs a, a skincare brand called Ras Luxury Oils from Raipur uh, in, in India. She basically sources from the farms and converts them into these, these skincare labels. She was a, a B2B business, but then the pandemic forced her to pivot and she began reaching out directly to consumers as well. She used Instagram as a platform to advertise and remains one of our largest advertisers even today. She has seen a 20x growth in the last two years on the back of some of this advertising that she has done. And it's not just uh, uh, Shubhika who then went on to expand her business, went on to add, add uh, uh, new lines to the product she was offering, went on to generate more employment, went on to create a, a lot more business, a lot more growth for the community. But as per this uh, Ipsos study, which clearly is the flavor of the day with me, and I'm going to keep quoting it, more than a third of the surveyed small and medium businesses has also reported that Instagram has helped their businesses hire new employees. So all this is, I think, what I'm trying to do is illustrate the power of the platform and what we bring to the table when we're talking about small and medium businesses in the country. We're also seeing the rise of new and innovative business models. And I'll talk to you about Hobspace. This is a global chess learning platform. And they are teaching students chess and helping them participate in international tournaments. Now, Hobspace is heavily reliant, again, on, on Instagram to uh, get, generate leads for online chess classes. And today, it's counting pretty much the entire world, right? US, UK. Uh, EMEA, South Asia, and so on, as, as markets where it is business in markets where it has all of these users sitting. At Meta, our commitment to India's business is to give them an opportunity to grow by looking at their needs and by looking at their challenges. And we are doing all of this with an India-first lens. We realize that business uh, skills and access to working capital does remain a challenge. And we are constantly thinking of programs, we are constantly thinking of solutions that we should be able to offer. We've rolled out some of them. Small Business Loans Initiative is loans that we give our small business uh, advertisers. We give them access to business loans through third party lenders. So this is one, one way that we've seen that we need to, we can bridge some of the problem that we are facing in, in access to working capital. More recently, we launched no-cost EMI that lets our advertisers convert their ad payment to equated monthly installments spread over three months, and that interest cost is absorbed by Meta. Similarly, we have numerous skilling programs uh, and resources that we build out to ensure that our users, entrepreneurs out there, small and medium businesses are supported at different stages of that, gro of that growth journey that they are uh, on, that they've embarked on. And our different programs and resources have reached over 20 million small businesses across India. 
Today, when an aspiring entrepreneur thinks about starting a business, the odds are that they are starting an Instagram account either before or almost at the same time that they are starting a website and pretty much always before they actually start physical operations. And what we realize is that this means that we have a deep and a very real responsibility towards India's small businesses and one that we are absolutely committed to when we talk about allowing small businesses, enabling small businesses is a much better framing, enabling small businesses to grow and to build for a strong digital future. Thank you.